Alright, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to stack a div container side by side. So, first thing we want to do is we want to create a wrapper. So, what I'm going to do is go to insert, insert a div tag. I'm going to give this the ID of main. This is going to be the wrapper that we're, our two divs are going to be contained in. Let me adjust this out so you can see it a little bit. Alright, inside of main we want to put two div containers that we're going to stack side by side. So don't use this naming convention. Use the naming convention as reasonable, but for expediency, I'm just going to call the first one number one. And the second one's going to be number two. Alright. Now so you can see what we're, what we're going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and change the background colors on 1 and 2. And you'll notice, let's go ahead and put, this is always a good idea. It's always a good idea to go ahead and, when you have it spread out like that, to go ahead and label one so you know where the beginning and the end's at. So let's change the background colors on here so just so you can see what's happening real well. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to change this background color to say purple. And we'll go click in this one and we're going to create a new rule. We're going to change this background color to blue. there we go now you'll notice we have these two are sitting inside the main container here we can go ahead and we'll go ahead and get main on out of there now these two are wrapped inside of main so what we want to do now is we want to take main number one which is the contents for ID number one we'll go back to this rule here and on the box we're going to float it left. It's going to force the bottom one to go to the right. See? Now, you can obviously you can go in and if you wanted to, you can set some uh, your width and height. Same with your main. You can set your width and height here. Now, it's a good idea on number two to go ahead and go into number two. And uh, you'll notice on uh, positioning you have overflow here. One thing that's not included in overflow is none. So I'm just to pick any one. I'm going to change this to none though. And the reason why you want to have, have overflow to none because if you have more content in this one and then you have in that one, there's a tendency for it to wrap up underneath this one. You don't want it to do that. So you're going to do overflow. It's going to be none. You don't want to hide the stuff you know if you had hidden it would just hide the overflow so it wouldn't, wouldn't look like it wrapped but you don't you want to force it to not even not be able to do it you, you're going to have to make adjustments to your size of your div container if you have more content than what it what can fit in it so sticking overflow to none will prevent it from wrapping up underneath this one and that's really all there is to stacking containers side by side and for more uh, videos on Dreamweaver Photoshop, Illustrator, WordPress, and a few programming languages, visit my website www.skeeterz71.com. Have a good day.